Here at ASCO 2015, there are four positive clinical trials in the field of uh, hematologic malignancies. We're talking about one of those, the Gadolin study. It's the primary results of obinutuzumab plus bendamustine versus bendamustine alone for rituximab, refractory, indolent, non-Hodgkin lymphoma. That's a challenging setting. And I'm with Dr. Helen Sane, who is an MD, MPH at the medical uh, and medical oncologist at the BC Cancer Agency and a clinical associate professor at the University of British Columbia. First, some background. Give us some background about this particular study. Yep, so the Gadolin trial is a phase three randomized trial investigating, as you said, the combination of abinutuzumab and bendamustine versus bendamustine alone in patients with rituximab refractory indolent non-Hodgkin lymphoma. So it's really the first randomized trial to investigate the utility of a novel anti-CD20 monoclonal antibody in patients with rituximab refractory disease. Now this is an approved uh, agent, correct? Yes, so binituzumab has already been approved for CLL when combined with chlorambicil in uh, patients with comorbidity. So it, it now is available for CLL. Now in this particular case, tell me about the patients you were looking at. Mm -hmm. So the study randomized approximately 400 patients, one to one, to either receive benamustine alone or benamustine and binituzumab. Patients who were responding or had stable disease can go on to receive abinutuzumab as maintenance for up to two years. The study included uh, a variety of indolent lymphoma histologies, so patients with follicular lymphoma primarily, but also small lymphocytic lymphoma and marginal cell lymphoma. All patients had proven previously refractory to rituximab by the current definition, meaning that they either grew through a ref uh, or didn't respond to a rituximab combination or relapsed within six months of having received a last dose of rituximab. Now, this is a fairly common lymphoma, correct? Indolent lymphoma is very common. So, um, and particularly follicular lymphoma, which is the most common subtype of indolent lymphoma, makes up over one quarter of all non-Hodgkin lymphomas. Wow. So it's a big group of people and it's an important study. So what did you find? Correct. So the primary endpoint of the study was progression-free survival as determined by an independent radiology facility. So at a planned interim analysis, the IDMC actually recommended that the study be reported because it had already met its primary endpoint. What we demonstrated that with a median follow-up of 21 months, the progression-free survival was markedly improved and significantly improved in the combination arm. So with 21 months follow-up, the median progression-free survival in the bendamustine only arm was only 14.9 months and had not yet been reached in the combination arm. The hazard ratio was 0.55, so indicating a 45% reduction in the risk of progression. Wow. So where to now after this? Mm -hmm. Well, importantly, the safety profile of the combination was very favorable. In fact, there were no new safety signals seen, so the toxicity was as expected for the drugs included in the combination. So I think what we've shown is that the combination of abinutuzumab and bendamustine really does have a high efficacy in patients who otherwise would have a poor outcome with bendamustine alone. Is there another study that's uh, in the works, or is this something that can be utilized in practice? Mm -hmm. So this, this is the first study that's been performed in rituximab refractory patients. There are further studies coming along through the pipeline. So there's been a study that's already been completed and performed in the upfront setting, where obinutuzumab was actually compared head-to-head -head in newly uh, or untreated patients head-to-head uh, -head with rituximab. So that study has been completed, and results of that will eventually come through. Maybe we'll hear some more at the next ASH meeting. Quite possibly. <laughs> Thank you very much for your time. For ASH Clinical News, I'm Rick McGuire, and we are in Chicago.